Good morning, everyone. But I dare here again. <sighs> Today, well, this month, we're talking about the unseen battle. And um, the word of God in Romans 12, 2 says, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that he may prove what is good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Right, there's an unseen battle there that I want to speak about, and that's the, the the renewing of the mind, right? Renewing of the mind. Maybe you have, maybe you have used or you have heard someone use the excuse before or the justification that, um, you know, their negative minds is. A result of the situations in their lives you know um, let me ask this question have you ever thought that maybe the reason your life is so hard or is so so difficult or you have so many negative situations is because of your negative mind hmm watch this you ever stop and think you know if you stop blaming your circumstances for your negative thinking, God will work on you in a powerful way. Let's let's stop making our mind a sidewalk for the devil to trample on. How about we make our mind a disciple for the word of God? How about we make our minds a uh, uh, a sponge for the word of God we must not conform to this world we must, we, we must renew our minds to Christ Jesus and allow him to work through us if you stop blaming your circumstances for your negative thinking see when that happens God will start working or working you and he will start working a work through you in a powerful way. If you remember when, when, when Jesus prayed, when Jesus was about that time for him to be crucified, and he went up with his disciples and he prayed, he said, not my will, but yours, Lord. Christ loves us, and his will is for us to have eternal life and a crown of glory. And we gotta remember, we gotta, we gotta believe, we gotta, we gotta make that sink in, and we have to understand that nothing, not even death, nor life, nor angels, nor principalities, nor power, nor things to come, nor things past, nothing, death, depth, any creature should be able to separate us from that love. That that's the love of God. And that love of God, we know that love of God is through, is through Christ Jesus our Lord. But, but that comes from renewing our minds. Get in a, not be conformed, but renew our minds. In the name of Jesus, I pray that you have a, a, a blessed day.